Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to call an external API service. So to call an external API service, you would need HTTP request node. We will also need a REST API to test, so we are going to use GitHub's REST API. It starts with, with an hello world example. It is a simple GET request that returns a random string. Let's try this URL from Postman first. And when you call this service, it returns a random string. Now let's try to call this from our flow. Let's put an inject node here. And let's put a debug node here to see the response. And HTTP request node has lots of uh, input fields, output fields and options. But what we need is just to change the method to get and put the URL here and then we can run the flow and it returns the result with a successful response code 200. We also got a random string. Now let's try an endpoint that requires authorization. Uh, we can use the repo Zitori's URL. So this requires an authorization token, as you can see here. But we can just try uh, to get this without a token. And let's see what happens. Now let's call this one. Now the call failed and it returned 401. Let's see the response. It says requires authentication. So for this uh, web service call to be successful, we need a token. For that, you can go to your GitHub profile and from the settings and developer settings menu, uh, you can uh, click here, personal access token and generate a new token from here. Let's give a name to our token. So let's call it repo token and let's select these and then let's click generate token now we have this token of course you have to keep this token in a safe place i will copy it from here and what we can do here is uh, as you see in the documentation this token has to be provided in the header this curl example uh, uses the the minus h parameter to uh, give this uh, token uh, into to the request uh, so we can just do that in HTTP request node from the header section. You can add a custom header here. The header key is authorization as you can see here and the key will be token. Let's call this and see what happens. It returns an error code because we missed something. This also requires a static keyword uh, token before the actual token so let's put it here and now let's try to call this again and it returned the result successfully we got 200 a successful response and also the response is here it is bigger than uh, 4k uh, and because of that it is not shown in this tab, but you can use this response uh, JSON object in your flow. One uh, more thing to add is uh, do not use your token in your uh, properties. Uh, this is not the safest way. If you happen to share your flow, you will also be sharing your token with, the, uh, with your flow. This is kept clear text. So for keeping uh, your token in a safe place please use vaults and let's see how this works so open your vaults tab uh, opens uh, a vault we would like to use and create a new item here let's use api key token and put your token here give it a name so let's call it github token uh, but let's be sure we are using the right one. Okay, now we, we are saving our GitHub token in our vault. Now we can close this. So to get this value, we would need 
uh, get item mode and then we can select the demo world and it is github token here now this will return the credentials let's see how it works let's run this you see it returned the credentials object here the value is masked but the value is here so credentials that value will have the token so let's put a function node here and now try to set the headers from uh, the function inside the function our uh, header key is authorization and we will need token plus message credentials dot value so this is the right one now save it and connect this to http request let's change it to set headers and now we can delete this one we are using request headers dynamically created before in a function now let's try to call this and it works again this is the safest way uh, you can keep your token in a safe place in your vault and if you can if you share this uh, flow with someone uh, they won't see your token because it is in your vault so thank you